con una comunicación telefónica con Jan Hilhuis de del Sustainable Trade Initiative de Holanda. Good morning, uh, everyone over there. I'm I'm trying to follow you through internet, and first of all, um, I would like to congratulate you because you made it to Buenos Aires. I got stuck in London and uh, had to go back to Amsterdam, so I'm sorry not to be with you. Uh, it's the first time I'm not at a roundtable conference. It will be my sixth. So, uh, well, uh, I hope you're having lots of fun over there. And I would like to congratulate the roundtable as well with the first farm certification uh, this year and also with the first shipment of roundtable soy to Europe, which we were able to commemorate here on the 8th of June uh, at, the, at the ceremony here in Rotterdam. Uh, what I would like to do now is, uh, is, is brief, and I, in fact, I would like to introduce you and announce you uh, uh, um, uh, the Soy Fast Track Fund we have been built uh, last year, and this would be an opportunity for us to just present to you what that would be. Uh, next slide, please. Yes, well, very briefly about IDH, some of you might not know it. It's the Dutch Sustainable Trade Initiative. This is an initiative funded by the Dutch government to, uh, to accelerate sustainable trade initiatives. We work in very uh, different sectors from timber to tea, cocoa, soya, but even in natural stone and aquaculture. Uh, soya is one of our programs. In fact, IDH is a platform in which different supply chain players cooperate. Uh, to improve sustainability in their supply chain. Actually, that works with supply uh, chain uh, uh, actors like trade and industry and producers, but also NGOs and government collaborate in our programs. Um, we, one of our programs, therefore, is the soy program. Next slide. Uh, our IDH uh, soy program is meant to support and accelerate mainstreaming of responsible soy production and trade in general. And I would like to next slide. Uh, give you in, in, in a glance uh, what it uh, what it what our program uh, is. We have set a target for ourselves, uh, and that's the part of IDH, of course, more. Uh, players are also working on this, but from our side, we would like to be participating in the creation of 10 to 50 percent of the EU import uh, uh, to be roundtable certified in 2015. That is about between four to six million tons. This would be a mean uh, a way to ensure sustainable land use in Latin America, uh, up to two million hectares, protection of forests and other high conservation value areas. We estimated to a quarter of a million of hectares, ensure legal compliance, fair labor conditions, community relations in Latin America. These are uh, based on the criteria of the roundtable uh, standard. Important here is the strategy. Uh, here in Europe, we built coalitions of committed market leaders. In, uh, in market leaders, we do this in the several uh, commodities we work with. But in soya, we have been working a lot with different companies in Europe that source um, that source soya from Latin America, and that are interested to work uh, on the round table to source round table soy. We would be identifying their strategic sourcing regions with them and then build farm support programs targeted to those regions. That's the, the main, the core part of our approach. We would also support uh, off-farm uh, projects that enable uh, the system, that harness the system in those regions, uh, like uh, supporting the round table itself. Uh, I will come back to that later. Uh, at the end, we would be therefore supporting the industry in sustainable sources and strengthen the roundtable itself. We have partners, the European industry, the Latin America producers and exporters, international and local NGOs are very important, uh, working with banks, donor, and other governments, as well as the roundtable itself. Our focal areas are Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay, and of course, on the market side, Europe. Bolivia is also one uh, country we'll be working with if they, if they uh, produce towards export in Europe. 
The total investment we calculate is 31 million. IDH is, is ready to put 6.5 million into a fund. I will explain that later. And we expect that at the same time, private uh, companies will be in total be investing about uh, 25 million euro in this. The duration of our program is until 2015. Next slide, please. Yeah, well, uh, this shows a little bit uh, what I just told you. We start at the, at the market side. We, we built a commitment with sustainable, uh, with, for sustainable sourcing uh, with key players over here, like we have been working with uh, IDF and, uh, and the NEFA in Belgium that are willing to source sustainable uh, soy. They, uh, they, com uh, they set contracts with, with shippers or traders, which are then uh, organizing the supply of responsible soy with their producers. We can work with those traders and shippers to increase the sourcing, the, the production on the, uh, of the responsible soy with their producers. So IDH would uh, then organize a specific project to help producers to comply and to expand, in fact, the pool of certified farmers. They deliver the soil to the supply chain. So it's very much supply chain related. Um, and as an instrument for this, we created the soy fast track fund. Next slide. Uh, soy fast track fund actually is something just got approval from our IDH council, which is the fund that will be supporting several projects and programs to, uh, to increase the production of round table soy. Uh, the left part of this picture uh, shows you the fund and uh, an arrow downwards to the supply chain project. So we envisage that the, the traders, the producer associations, the committed uh, actors in the supply chain will, will develop projects and uh, present those projects to this fund. And this fund uh, uh, will therefore uh, help, in, in, uh, help in this project to, to support producers at producer level. They are directly linked to the market demand. At the same time, we would also, and that's the right side of this picture, uh, be supporting some harnessing project, we call it harnessing the system, that are projects related to, to, uh, to build support for the roundtable, to develop some services at local level, but also to uh, map the HCCA, to create more market, uh, market demand, and also build up support for, from the finance sector. Um, and on the lower side, on the right corner there, you will see that we also want to learn from all this, and there are some projects related to this that will drive performance in the whole system. And that is one of the things we did just before uh, uh, this uh, meeting is finalize a gap analysis. Econish, who was to present yesterday uh, a gap, the results of the gap analysis we did in Brazil and Argentina. Um, later on, we will hear more about that. Uh, this was one of our activities to define exactly what we would be targeting at and to define what are the gaps at the, at the producer level uh, that has to be uh, to be covered. I will. Uh, this soy fast track fund has uh, has some criteria. Next slide, please. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, among others, of course, the stakeholders should be committed to the roundtable. Uh, the idea is really to source roundtable soy. The, the, the project should address strategic roadblocks that were identified by this IDH uh, and ISC gap analysis I was just mentioning. I really hope that you will have the chance to look to it, uh, maybe not through a presentation today, but uh, I know that Bruce is also, the next speaker is also going to address some words on the gap analysis. Later on, we are going to distribute it. Um, but that will be the basis of our, uh, of our approach there. We will help buyers, in fact, to create supply with direct support to their producers, enabling them to comply and to certify. So the project should be targeted at that. Then, uh, important for this project, uh, they are supply chain uh, players are taking the lead into it. It's not uh, a governmental aid, nor only an NGO aid. 
the specific lead, supply chain players are in the lead. So there is a key role for traders or producer associations or properties. They can develop projects and present this to the fund and then organize support for their supply base. Minimally 50% it will be co-financed by the supply chain players and in principle this can be done even at the market level. So if a buyer is paying a little bit more for the soy, this, this party is paying more can work as a co-finance structure for our project. So we can leverage quite a lot of uh, investments over there, um, and it will end up uh, to take six and a half million from our side. Next, next slide, please. The fund uh, will, the fund, uh, just a little on the governance and the management of this fund. Uh, the fund, there will be a board for it, and that will be, uh, the board will be filled in by the donors. Uh, of I which IDH will be one of them, and they will approve the project at the end, and they are, of course, responsible for the fund policy. There will be a project selection committee by experts, project advisory committee, and, uh, and we will also have um, a strategic advisory group that will guide uh, the fund in which are uh, that year or that moment the most strategic uh, issues to tackle or the most strategic areas to, to organize the supply from, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So we will be closely be working with the supply chain actors and the buyers themselves. Uh, Solidaridad has been chosen by us to manage the fund. So they will be practically, practically be implementing and, and, and doing the management of the project. So they will, this will be the first window to work through, and they can also be supporting uh, uh, stakeholders in building up the project. But at the end, the fund board and, and ourselves will be uh, approving the project and guiding the whole uh, policy and also guiding Solidaridad in, in, the, in the strategy. Um, the fund capacity is 6.5 million, more 6.6 .6 million euros, as I told you, to 2015. And other donors might be joining later and then, of course, be part of the board as well. Um, finally, uh, I would like to go to uh, the last slide. Uh, that is all the next steps. Uh, actually, I would like, indeed, again, uh, uh, call your attention to the, to the IFC IDH gap analysis produced by Econi. It will be made available on the side of the of equally our side, possibly IFC side, and at least also possible also on the round table side. So everyone can read to that. The funds management structure is, uh, we hope to finish it uh, in the coming month. And uh, the first projects already, we will want to start piloting them already, them already from September on. Uh, we also are going to work uh, further with, to engage uh, new markets as well on this side of, of the ocean try to find more buyers or and try to see whether we can help them to organize their support base. In fact, you could also imagine that some producers who know, who know their buyers on the other end could also introduce programs and introduce buyers to us. So uh, we really want to, 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 to work with all, all Europe and other countries in Europe as well. So uh, all supply chains, uh, as far as they're organized, connected to each other, um, uh, they can present proposals. Um, further on, we want to enhance our collaboration with other support programs. Of course, IFC, we have been working very well with them and want to collaborate much more. Uh, UNDP, uh, also banks, Robert Bank and uh, other banks are also working with us uh, to improve support to the producers, uh, NGOs, and also producer groups. In fact, uh, the gap analysis has, uh, has given us a, a very good opportunity to to, to work with, uh, with different producers in Brazil, including the uh, many members of Soja, for example. And this is a very good and positive experience, and I think we have got some lead there to try to uh, and work together with them as well, as well as with other producer groups like APDC or Alliance La Terra and others that are very well positioned to, to support producers as well. So we really are looking forward into engaging more into uh, on, on, on a field level. Uh, finally, uh, I would say uh, all of you uh, in the room and supp all supply chain actors that are there are invited to develop and think about uh, project ideas that would fit into the criteria that we presented. And you can approach us, you can approach me, or, uh, or directly to the fund manager in Solidarity of Latin America in Brazil. Uh, there will be PTC Brandy or Yeroon later on, um, and 
and Miguel Hernandez, all the people in Solidarity can help you there as well. But feel free to think and propose some ideas. Uh, we are ready to start. So uh, very much. Uh, next slide, please. We, were, we are really very much looking forward to work further with you, and I would like to thank you very much. I will be following you on the Internet, maybe for questions later after this.